Um, so this uh, presentation, the lecture that we, I have here is um, uh, is the part that we skipped on uh, Tuesday, and so I will I'll make a separate recording of this presentation. But uh, uh, nevertheless, I, I just wanted to go over it really, really quick, uh, a couple of the the uh, topics that are discussed here. And uh, one of them is what what I just mentioned earlier that there are, there are two big families of types of testing uh, that um, that that us as developers uh, can consider. One one of them is uh, you know what, what we call black box testing of uh, looking at a particular implementation of an algorithm and making sure that it behaves as specified, uh, where we throw it all sorts of inputs and see that uh, the, the results, the calculation, it meets what uh, what the meets the requirements. Uh, the other one, the structural testing, which we'll look at uh, next week, is uh, uh, we are going to consider the actual code and make sure that every single piece of the lines that were written are actually being exercised. The, the, other, the other point that, um, uh, that, that the, this uh, lecture uh, made, made uh, um, reference to was the quality assurance that uh, oftentimes we, we, uh, um, we use a misnomer of QA uh, when the real, with the, with the real um, meaning of quality assurance is that we want to remove the defects before it goes out there. Right? That, that any efforts that we might make using functional testing or structural testing uh, is to make sure that whatever product it goes out the door or that it goes out, uh, you know, that we consider to be complete, you know, is with the minimum number of, of, of defects as possible. Uh, in uh, w when when typically this is. Um, uh, this is actually understood in reverse, right? An opposite meaning uh, that QA typically means has been released or has been released for for testing, and then it's the is the uh, the task of finding defects, right? Of identifying what those defects are because we want to remove them. But really, quality assurance is that you know, what can we do to maintain the quality of our of our source code uh, so that those defects don't go out there? Right? What can we do to preemptively uh, deal with these things before they are actually out the door, and that's where you know, unit testing and regression testing uh, allows us to identify these things even before anybody is, uh, you know, touches it or sees anything uh, or or identifies any defects with it. So yeah, so that I wanted to point that out. Uh, the other the other aspect that uh, I wanted to point out was um, that uh, uh, one of the things that we need to consider is that testing is really hard, right? That um, even with uh, with some simple examples of, of some really simple games where there are only two variables that that are are uh, can be of input of you know how much force you're gonna throw a, a uh, projectile and what angle you you're gonna you're gonna throw it at. There's all sorts of combinations of what these variables might might be, uh, and 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 certainly we want to have some confidence that at at any combination of these two particular variables. The application is going to behave correctly, right? And, and just with this very simple example, you can th see that the, the, it, there's a there's a uh, combinatorial explosion of how many possible types of inputs uh, we need to consider, right? There's there's way way too many too many values to consider, and, and so so testing uh, the, the strategy of testing is also identifying what can we say that is general about these variables that can minimize the, the uh, this this combinatorial explosion. Right, that we can uh, that we can uh, identify some some representative values, right? That can that, that can um, um, uh, represent a whole family or a whole range of values without having to consider every single value in that range. Right. Uh, so so that that too, right? It's a it's a uh, we need to you know be able to analyze uh, the particular problem that is being tested. And uh, and be able to identify what are the meanings of each one of the values, and taking into consideration uh, uh, together, you know, what are the actual boundary edges of those of those uh, ranges that we want to consider, right? So yeah, that's that's uh, those are two two pos two things that I wanted to cover. There's much more in here as well, but uh, uh, I'll I'll talk about it a little more uh, later in a separate lecture.